So let's de design a DFA for a language wherein the number of A's is equal to two. So the language can contain A and B both, but the number of A's in this string will be two. For example, A, 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 B, or B, A, A, or A, B, A, double A, B, B, so these are all the strings in which the number of A's are two. So the smallest automata is, uh, smallest string is AA. So we have to smallest string ke liye ek automata bana lena chahiye. So it looks like on A, I should move from Q0 to Q1 and Q0 is this initial state. On A, from Q1, I should move to the Q2 state and Q2 is the final state. If I get any B initially, I should not, this should not be the concern for us because we are not restricting the number of the Bs. If I get some B after A, that also is not a matter of the concern for us. If I get some Bs after the second A, that is also not the matter of the concern. But if I get A after the second A, that is a matter of the concern. And I will say that this will move to the dead state. In the dead state, if you get A or B, you should remain at the dead state itself. So let's take some of the string and uh, let's accept, get it accepted or rejected. So let's say we are taking the string A, A, B. So from Q0 on A, you move to Q1 state. And then from Q1 with A, you move to the Q2 state. And with B in the Q2 state, you remain at the Q2 state and the string gets accepted. Now let's take a string, which is not a part of uh, the language. Let's say this is A, A, A. So from Q0, you move to Q1 with A. From Q1 with A, you move to Q2. And from Q2 with A, you move to the Q3 state, which is a non-final state. And so we'll say that the string A, A, A has got a rejected. Now, here you are saying that the number of A's are exactly two. If I say that the number of A is greater than or equal to two. So how will you form the automata for, for this? So Q0 is the start state. It means if I'm saying that uh, the length of the string can be two, three, four, sorry, length of the string can be anything, but the number of A's in the string should be either two or three or four or five, anything is acceptable. It means that the one which is not acceptable is the zero A, one A. So on A, in Q0, you move to Q1. Again on A, on Q1, you move to Q2. And this should be the final state because two A's are acceptable. And if you get more number of the A's, you should remain at Q2 state. What about the B? Let's say you get a B at Q0, you should remain at Q0. On B, after first A, you should remain at Q1 because the B number of Bs are not the matter of the concern for us. And then in Q2 also, if you get some Bs, you should remain at Q2 instead. So you can see that the number of a state here is three. If I say that the number of A's in the given string is, great, is less than or equal to two, so let's form the automata for this. Let's first uh, uh, write the language for this because uh, we will form the automata with the uh, language, automata for the language. So epsilon means the smallest string should also get accepted where the number of A's is zero. <clears throat> now B also should get accepted. BB should also get accepted where the number of A's are zero. And then AB should get accepted. DA should also get accepted. Here the number of A's are one. And then if I have the number of A's two, that should also get accepted. So AA or BAA or ABA, all these things should get accepted. So the <clears throat> meaning of this is that uh, epsilon is, should be accepted. It means we should make the Q0 state of the initial state as the final state. After this, if I get one A, I should go to the Q1 state. And this should also be the final state. And then if I get another state, uh, another A, I should again accept the string and I should 
reach to the final state q2 but if i have one more a the string should get rejected so i am reaching to the q3 state which is the non final state now what about the b we should not be concerned about the b if you get some some b's in, uh, in the beginning of the string don't worry if you get some b's after the first a it should not be the worry if you get some b's after the second a that is also not a matter of the concern if you get a or b after the third a we should remain at the dead state the three so here you have seen that if the number of a's in the string is equal to 2 then the number of states in the automatized forward if the number of state number of a's is greater than or equal to 2 then the number of states are 3 if the number of a's is less than or equal to 2 the number of state is 4 if we have to generalize this if we have to generalize this we can say that if the number of a's are n then the number of a state in the finite automata should be n plus 2 if the number of a's is greater than or equal to n in that case it should be n plus 1 state and similarly if uh, the number of a state is less than or equal to n the number of a state in the automata will be n plus 2 so here we have drawn some conclusion and this will help you in solving the gate problems also Thanks for watching. We will continue our discussion on the automata.